is chip binning. Now, imagine you bake a thousand cookies. They all look similar, but some come out golden and chewy, others a bit burnt, and a few just crumble if you look at them wrong. That, in essence, is chip binning, except with less sugar and more electrons. When a big silicon wafer is turned into hundreds of processors, not all of them are perfect. Some can run at higher speeds with lower power. Those are your five-star biscuits, or in tech terms, the bind chips. Others work fine, but only if you don't ask too much of them, like that one mate who'll help you move, but only if it's not raining. Manufacturers test each chip after production. The ones that pass the test with flying colors get slapped with the fancy labels, like Ryzen or Core i9. The others downgraded, repackaged, and sold as more modest versions. Ryzen 5, Core i5, or if they really phoned it in, in Pentium. And no, you can't unlock extra performance by clicking the BIOS and whispering encouraging words. Those hidden cores are either physically disabled or broken. It's not a software issue. It's more like buying a four-legged chair with two legs snapped off and hoping they'll grow back. So chip binning is basically the silicon sorting hat. You shall be an overclockable gaming monster. You, uh, you'll run spreadsheets and YouTube just fine. It helps reduce waste, maximize profit, and gives us cheaper CPUs that still work, just don't expect them all to be Gryffindor. And remember, next time you buy a binned chip, you're basically getting the teacher's pet of the silicon classroom. All A stars, no drama, but sadly, no free biscuit. More of this from the nerdiest people you know at craigandave.org.